going on ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Dweb here and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. I am excited to be playing today because we have some exciting things that are going to be happening. Uh, on Moon Day, we need to go talk to the astrologer to... Uh, it doesn't say here. We need to go talk to him to see about getting the farmer's daughter to the dance thing, whatever, with Miss Charm. But until then, I want to kill some time. And I'm going to do something that... Actually, hold on. We've got dinners that we can make. I found them. And it requires a fried egg, an omelet, and a green jelly. Green jelly we can totally make. And then I need to go get four eggs at some point. So we'll do that. Maybe. <laughs> if I remember. But I want to do something that you guys have been saying is a possibility for the longest time. I just have never done anything about it. And that is removing body parts on a body and or a zombie and replacing them with other parts. And I don't have any experience with that at all. So I'm not sure how this will work. But let's take this guy. Um, four red, four white. And let's give him the, the good old treatment. So we always remove blood and we always remove fat. And I always do bone as well because it has no effect on the body. Um, and then other than that, so if you guys... Hold on. I want to explain my, my reasoning for this. So I've been told that swapping out body parts will increase quality. And I'm going to guess that only the... Uh, so there's hard spares and soft spares. So there's like spare parts. And then you've got your important parts. So I'm just going to guess that the important parts are the ones that play an important part in the body's quality. So, and I don't see any uh, associated anything with these. Uh, like, there's no quality markers on anything to show how much is what. But uh, before we do that, before we start swapping out some parts, I want to invest in surgery, which will reduce the chance of making a surgical error when extracting important parts. Because once you do that, the body's pretty much not worthless, but I don't think you could... It, you don't want those. So, with that, um, let's try removing the heart. So we had six white and two red. Okay, so that removed two white and two red. Um, can I put a heart back in? That's not the same one. One from our mortuary rack? Yes, I can. And then that results... Okay, so that got rid of the red. So now we just have six red. Let's try that with intestines. And then the brain as well. So we had six white. We still have six white. So if I put in some, some higher quality intestines, and I don't know how this works. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So that was a... So we removed intestines and it had no effect whatsoever. Does that mean that intestine had like a zero white skull rating or something? And then we put in different intestines, which had a two white skull rating? I wonder if there's any way to tell. I don't know. Uh, and last but not least, let's remove the brain. So we're sitting at eight white skulls right now. Which is exciting for me because this is the most I've ever had. Okay, that just removed four. No. Two. I can't math. And then we will add a brain. And hopefully... No, so that's back down to seven. So, can I remove that brain again? This is just going to be a lot of guesswork, I feel. Unless there's a better way of doing it. Back down to six. So, we know it's not either of these two brains. One of those was worth two. It was the first one we pulled. And this takes us back to eight. So, that really didn't do anything. Okay, so we know at least... I'm trying to, like, learn... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm trying to learn how this works. That's not bad. So we know at least body parts, at least hearts, intestines, and brains, the important parts, can have a quality 
ranging from zero to two, at least. It might go higher than that. I, I don't know if there's one quality body parts. I would imagine so. But yeah, that is, that's cool. And we have the zombie juice and stuff. So now we can take this eight skull body. And I know I said I wasn't really worrying too much about zombie quality at the moment. I just want zombies. But I figured I'd try that out, see how it works, and kill two birds with one stone. Get a improved zombie, learn something new, and get another zombie. So we will resurrect it using our zombie juice and faith. And there we go. Um, we have the ability to place another one down here. We also need one in the garden. We also need one in our porter station. I don't know. I need them everywhere. I'll do the porter station for... No. My gosh, I can't make up my mind. I'll do the garden because that's actually useful. And I don't know if I saw this guy's efficiency. Or if there's a way to tell. While just holding them. Can I check my inventory? Am I carrying, holding? No. That's not how that works. That's okay. And we'll throw this guy down here. Yes, get to work. And I shall have him make the only thing we have enough seeds to make, which is wheat. Beautiful. Oh, and then, okay, so 20% efficiency with eight skulls. And then we've got 12% efficiency with five. And 15% with six. All right. And I'm going to imagine that makes him go faster. I don't know what else it would do. Do we really not have any crop waste? We don't. This thing, these new uh, composters I added, they help so much. I don't want to be putting hop seeds there. But I will. My goodness, I can't remember where I put stuff. Um, hemp, pumpkin, blah, 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 blah. Nothing I need here. I'll take the grape seed because that does not go here. And then, did we, is there really no peat here? I'm, I'm kidding. I'm dumb. It's all right here. Let's take, wow, I don't know, a good chunk of it. And we'll throw that up by, oh, dang it. I wish you could walk there. There's a line for it, like this little part right here. You think you'd be able to, but no, you can't. And then our little blue point factory over here. Make it work. And speaking of blue points, I do want to go up to our apiary area. Apiary, if you will. <laughs> and uh, check on the bees. See how they're doing. Hopefully we can get some more going. And then with the beeswax, uh, not just that beeswax, but we've got a bunch more. With that, I need to... Oh my gosh, 248. That's nuts. Uh, I need to make some more candles. And we can also take all of our crop waste back over. You know what? Let me go ahead and harvest these and replant them. And I'll meet you guys, um, I guess, when it's time to make some more candles. All right. That took, like, all day. But I got a lot of grapes out of it. And now I can make a bunch more wine. Which I love doing. Someone, I forget who it was, told me a long time ago when I was like just getting the vineyard going not to focus too much on wine because it wasn't really worth it. And I, I completely disagree. It's been my main source of energy for a long time now. And we can get some regular bronze quality wine going and some silver quality as well. Oh, it's beautiful. And then we'll throw our... We have five pails of grape juice just ready to go. Oh, and then we have hops as well. And I haven't studied grapes or hops. Shame on me. I can go add that to our, our, uh, wow, words are hard. Our pile of stuff that I plan on studying. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. Oh, we need wheat for this too? I didn't know that. Water, wheat, beer. We regain health too. That's nice, just like our wine. And then in here, that's for the ferment. All right, so I'll restock 
or not restock, I will start stocking some water and wheat down here and then we can get some beer going. That'd be cool. Um, while we're down here though, I have some hemp, I have some hemp rope and I have a desire to make some more candles. So we're gonna do that. Um, that's done right here. And we're gonna do the, ooh, actually we can make a couple of these because it uses up white paint. Let's do that. And apparently they're better. These candles, it's hard to tell. Yellow, white, and then white with stripes. It's all fancy-like, I guess, I don't know. And that's all we can make. But it's blue points and quite a lot of them. Just kidding, it's two per. Technically half per, because you're making four at a time. Oh well. I'm going to try, try being the operative word, to remember to use those next time Sunday rolls around, which is tomorrow. And today is moon day. I don't know why I went this way. That rhymed. Haha. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah. We need to get to the astronomer, but we have time to kill. Um, he's not ready for us quite yet. So, uh, in the meantime, I want to head to... Why didn't I deposit that story? Oh, well. We're going to stop off at the Dead Horse Tavern, take the little shortcut, and we need eggs. So, if I want to make... You guys remember we need... Nope, not that. We need five gold star dinners for the merchant. So, we need... What was it? Green slime, something, omelet, and a fried egg, I think? And that can be done here. An omelet was three eggs. And then the fried egg was just one. So we'll buy four eggs for 50 copper. Not bad. And then we're just going to go lurk by the... Uh... Oh, could this be like a... This looks like it was a path at one point. Can we install a ladder here at some point? It looks like there might have been one at one point, And it like crumbled... Oh, that'd be so nice. Not that we have any need to get down here. I don't even think that's an accessible area. But it'd be cool if it became one. Also, where am I going? This is not the way to the lighthouse. What am I doing? I'll meet you guys there. yo -ho, hello. I have come to talk about I don't even remember what. Ah, I need to do some calculations for the mill. That's why. Okay. You're good at calculating angles stuff, right? What? Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. I'm not so sure. Wait, seriously? That's it? It sounds like a lot of work because he's lazy and we're not friends with him yet. Take the calculation. Are you kidding? So we have to go do the acid thing first. And then we can do the Necronomicon. And then I'm sure another quest line will open up and then we can do the calculations for the mill. Oh my gosh. Every quest line in this game is so like interwoven with each other. Not actually, but you have to do one step before you can do the others, which ends up making them all interwoven. Kind of fun, kind of ridiculous at the same time. It's okay though. All right, time to switch our mode back to zombie mode. I want to get a zombie for every job today which means we need one more for well i take that back not for every job uh like we could put two people on the iron quarry or the iron mine we could put two people on the marble quarry two people on the stone quarry i just want to do one each for there so we need one on stone one on making potions and stuff and then one more on um what was it Ah, as a porter in our in our basement. So, why do I keep going this way? This is not the fastest way to get to the morgue. If I just cut outside. Just because I have that whole area unlocked now, I keep thinking it's going to be the fastest way, but it really isn't. All right, and like I said, oh crap. Please don't be... Okay, that's fine. So, just like with everything else, we're going to go ahead and extract all the things, and then I'll play around with 
adding and removing brains, intestines, and hearts. That sounds so strange. And then I will let you know if I come across anything interesting um, with removing stuff. I, I don't know how this works, but... So that's five white skulls. And so that was only one. So hopefully we can get a heart that's a little bit better than that, maybe. I don't know, though. Um, why am I... I put those in the wrong spot. What am I doing? I got a system, and I'm not adhering to that system. I'm going to keep the heart on me, though. Because that's the one we just used. Anyway, let me go ahead and make up three bodies that are ready to go. And then we will zombify two of them. And then we'll have to make some more zombie juice. Because I don't think I have enough. But I will see you in just a sec. Wish me luck in turning these guys into the best versions of themselves that they can be. Alright, I'm only working on my second body right now. But I had a thought. What if I were to organize these racks a little differently? So right now we have uh, all this in here. What if I pull all that out and like I just I just extracted a brain that had no effect on the quality. So we'll put the the not great parts over here, either zero or one. I haven't found any that affect the white skull count by one. And what I mean is I just pulled the brain out and it had no effect. If it removed two white skulls, that means the brain was contributing two white skulls. But I pulled that one out and it had zero effect. So I'm thinking if I start storing them accordingly, like the trash parts in the one on the right here, and then anything good, if I pull it out and it has two, I can put it back in over here. And it'll take some time to get through what we have stored, but if I try adding another brain from this mortuary rack, it should hopefully add something. Yeah, so that added plus two. Cool, so we'll keep that in. I think that might be a decent system. I don't know. Let me know if there's something I don't know that would help me decide what to do with these. But anyway, I'm going to continue. We've got one down. we got two more to make. Okay, so... I've got three... What? Come on, guys. I know you want to get resurrected a second time, but calm down. I drank a lot of wine to get that done, and now I'm exhausted. Uh, so this is going to be probably the last thing we do before we call it a night. Uh, but I need to make... Just kidding. I don't do it here. I do it over here. I need to make more zombie juice, and I don't even know if I have the health powder to do it. I don't. Crap. I need to make more health powder, and if I check our zombie alchemy workbench, it should hopefully tell me how to make it. Maybe not. Um, what if I check? No. Which was it? No, it doesn't tell you. I forgot it doesn't tell you. Crap. Um, what is it? It's not bat wings. It's not... Do we have anything that makes life powder? Or health powder? I don't remember. Um, we do have enough goo of health. Oh, let's just do that. Beautiful. I'm cheating. That's the easy way to do it. But regardless, we can now make another... Oh, wrong, wrong station. Using health powder and blood, we'll make another zombie juice. And then I need to go grab 10 more faith, which hopefully I have. I'm pretty sure I do. And then having three zombies. Ooh, it's so nice. Um, where am I going? Oh, you know what? While I'm here, crap, I only have two. That's okay. It's Sunday. I was going to say, while I'm here, let me grab out some candles real quick. Let's just use up these. Or should we go crazy and just light everything? We'll do eight candles today. I don't know why, but I want to do these on the sides right here. We'll do the not so great ones on the side. Give us plus two for the not as good ones. And then hopefully plus four is what I'm expecting for this. Plus six. Oh my gosh. That is a lot of church quality. 63. Heck yes. Your flock will produce more faith. I love that they're called a flock. 
That's just awesome. All right. How much faith are we getting out of this? At least 10. We know that much. Oh my gosh. 13 plus another what? Five or so? 13 plus one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh. 20 faith in one day. I'm sure that is child's play compared to what I can eventually get. But I think that's the most I've ever gotten. I like candles. I like candles a lot. Wow. That's cool. And I'm surprised we haven't, like, passed out yet. Our energy does slowly drain. I, I thought it did. Or maybe that's only when working it uses extra. I don't know what's going on. Usually it just slowly drains regardless of what I'm doing. Um, where am I going? R playing ring around the pillar, I guess? Let's drop off 10 of those and get our very last zombie made. It's so exciting. And after this, hopefully I can stockpile some faith so that I can get um, words. What was I going to say? So I can... I, I totally forgot what I was going to say. What the heck? Oh, that's... I shouldn't have left this guy here. Crap. We're going to do it anyway, because it's still six white skulls. Cannot resurrect bodies rotten. Just kidding. Dang. I got to do that again? Man, I forgot about that. Okay, is there an upgraded resurrection table? Or am I just going to have to not be dumb moving forward? Probably that one. Oh, time to do this all over again. Okay, we got another eight skull corpse and i found some new some new knowledge doing that i did find one body uh one body part i don't remember what it was that i removed that lowered the quality of the body by one and i had another that i removed the intestines and it gained a one quality so apparently they can go into the negatives as well not that they're just like not providing any white skulls, but they're actually removing a white skull just by being present. So removing it, period, increased the quality, which is interesting. I did not know that was a thing. And I'm glad I had to redo that because otherwise I would have assumed all body parts were always a positive white skull value. I hope that makes sense. And none of these have any red skulls, so I can't... Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> Go, little guy, go! I say little, he's just as tall as me. Maybe a little tinier, I don't know. Oh, that's so cool. And he's got 20% efficiency, which probably for him means he moves faster. Oh, this is so awesome. I don't ever have to think about this again. Just every horn day, I'll just go. Oh, that's so cool. Totally unnecessary to have this one guy doing all this. Because he can only take three over and then nothing. Wait, where's he going? Oh, that was weird. How's it going? Barn Cellar is the name of that. That's awesome. All right, and then we have one last guy to take all the way to the stone quarry. So let me grab him. Oh, and I, I should probably put this guy to work, right? Um, do, do we need anything? Do I need him to make anything? Not really. Never mind. So yeah, with this guy, once we've created something ourselves, then our zombie can do it for us from then on. So we can have our zombie making zombie juice so it can reanimate other people, which is so cool. Okay, the only other one we need is, like I just said, at, oh, at the quarry. And we should already have the spot for him. Uh-huh. And now this zombie can get a friend. 20% work efficiency. And 15% work efficiency. So I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit. And we'll see if the one on the left overtakes the one on the right. Alright, just as I thought. That is exactly what it does. Efficiency improves speed. And I would imagine that applies to all things that require speed. So you can harvest crops faster. You can mine faster. Porters would travel faster. I think that's how that works. That's so cool. 
I had to get away from that pick sound. Standing there recording that was just, oh, it's too much. Dun, 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 dun. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take a nap in here because I am freaking exhausted. I think I drank five or six wines, bottles of wine, while exhausted just to get those bodies made. But, oh, I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, though. I hope you enjoyed. I am so happy to have zombies doing all the things now. It's going to be so useful. I'm looking forward to enjoying my my laziness now that I don't have to do these things myself anymore. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, as always, take care. <laughs>